this tutorial, I want to have a look at some of the options with um, drawing views in draft and we'll show how we can work with um, the data there that is um, not having to go back to the uh, model. So, for example, we can have a look at this part here or this assembly. You can see that we've got some um, send lines for these tubes in here um, and I don't want to see those. So all I need to do is right mouse click and go to properties and in here I can see my two um, pipes and from here I need to go into the parts list options and list all so from here um, you'll see that we have um, send lines options and I can just turn those off directly um, similarly you could show base reference planes or um, coordinate systems as well if you've got surfaces you can come in here and you can see those and um, turn those on or off as you need to so once you've done that um, you'll end up with a, a gray box around your drawing view that indicates that um, it's out of date so if I just right mouse click and go update alternatively I could go update all views and it will update everything within the drawing um, something else that we can do is we can click on here obviously we can go to um, uh, shaded options and again you'll see that we have that gray border around so going to update views we'll update everything and see we have a nice um, full display in here um, Something else that you may want to do is again go back to the drawing view properties. I may want to see the um, internal detail, so the casing isn't quite so important, but I'd like to see that it's there. So I know that the uh, casing here is one part um, and also 189, so I can control click on that one and then um, 233. So I can then um, change that from um, derive as reference from assembly. If I turn that off and just display as reference, um, we're using different line styles on here and we can do that. And again, we need to update views. And you'll see that we end up with a representation of the outline of the object. So you can see that there is a casing around there, um, but you can see all the internal detail on that as well. Um, something else you may want to do is just sort of highlight a single feature. Um, we could do that um, just by um, changing the color of the line style. So to do that, you go into the view and go into styles. Um, I want to change my visible line style and create a new one based on that. And call it visible red. Onto the general tab. I can change that to red in color and change the width to say 1.4. I want to keep it as a solid line. I could change that as well and close that. So I've created my um, line style. Go back into properties and that 109 part, which is the uh, main casing, which is this one down here. Um, I want to change my uh, visible edge tile to visible red and go OK. And you'll see that that then updates to show that um, this is um, something slightly different from the rest of it. Um, something else that you may want to do is um, to um, just go and hide or show some edges. So this detail in here is maybe a little bit too much so I can go and use the draw in view option and if you zoom in on that you can see that we've got a lot of detail in here that isn't necessary to what we're after so we can choose the hide edges option and we can just go in and sort of um, just sort of and select some areas and get rid of some of this detail in here 
just to make it look a little bit uh, tidier. Let's get rid of that one and same on the other side. So just quickly, um, as you can see, I've deleted that one. So let's just go back and I can sort of then select that area there. And I get that line back in again. So once you've finished, you then can close out of the view and you can see that we have something that's a little bit tidier on there. Um, something else you may want to do um, is add some extra detail. Um, so I've got a flattened sheet metal part on this view. I may want to um, put some tabs on here um, that isn't actually part of the finished part, but I may want to display how I want it designed. Um, so I can then sort of go back to draw in view and use my, um, say, a rectangle by two points and want visible line style. And I just want to create a tab over here, um, say about five mil thick by 30 mil, and just place that in there. Just to sort of then define it, um, I want to put some dimensions on it, but I don't want the dimensions displayed. So I can come over to my tabs, um, put it onto the auto hide, and then I can sort of dimension between, say, here and here. That value there, I want to be, say, 320, and I want this to hold on to that, say, 25. And a depth here of five. So I could put a few of these in. Um, I could, if I wanted to, um, use a different line style. So I can sort of then select that. Um, sorry. And change it to hidden, for example. And um, that just shows that it's something else. So if we go back to our default view, um, we can then sort of, again, close out of here and you can see those dimensions disappear. And we have a um, tab displayed on here. So should we end up changing the size of this? Um, change it to three quarters, you'll see that the actual geometry stays linked to the view so that um, it um, will work um, and, and stay located.